Diane Chaplin and Farnell Newton. Twelve years is an inordinately long amount of time for a group like this to exist. Um, lucky enough to be performing all over the country in all manner of music venue indiscriminately from symphony halls to punk rock clubs. I like to think that part of our success is due to the fact that we strive constantly to reimagine the relationship between the classically trained performer and the audience. And lately for us this evolution has meant performing all of our music from memory, removing that music stand from the stage. But I'm gonna level with you right now. Yeah, okay, you can go, yeah. You're, you're a clappy audience, go for it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna level with you about that though. I mean, think about half of our motivation for removing the music stands from the stage was to get rid of that visual barrier. But the other half was so that, I want you to think about this, to create a more effective platform from which our audience may stage dive when we're performing in punk rock clubs, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's an honor to be here. We're gonna play two more for you. Let's play it Name That Tune style. Um, if you don't know what we play, introduce yourself to people around you, make some friends, and find somebody who does know and share your knowledge with each other. Thank you so much.
FedEx. Just think, while you've been getting down and out about the liars and the dirty, dirty cheats in the world, you could have been getting down to this sick beat.